Hey everybody, I'm Cable Captain, and welcome to a tutorial for the Canon HR10 Vixa, or the Canon Vixa HR10. And I'm going to be showing you how to get files from this camera to your computer. And this is what you're going to need for the operation. Number one, you will need the USB connector from your computer to your camera. Next, you will need your charger that connects to your camera and an outlet. And then you will need the Coral application disk. If you don't have it, then don't really then don't watch this. And if you guys want to get technical, don't it doesn't matter I don't think it matters what version you use. So then then you will need your camcorder. And then very important you shouldn't even be doing this if you don't have it. You will need the disk that you need, that you want on your computer. So, step one: place your disk very carefully into your camcorder and close the lid. Next, turn on your camcorder. Now, I don't want to have to go into specifics of how you open this and how you turn it on. You guys should know this by now and then you get it to the play option the green when the green light comes on for you guys you know and once the green light is on you wait for your disk to load its content and once that content is loaded simply press the button that says funk it means it's short for function and see this little see it's the one with the little dot popping out of it so you can kind of you can rub your nail on it and it'll, it'll bump, 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 you know you can feel it so, the function is the one you press. It's the second one. It's the second one on the four, if you're looking at it that way. If you're looking at it like a Jewish person, or Middle Eastern, I'll just say. So, no offense to you guys. Um, next, I have currently nothing on this disc. This is just for example. And now, you you will notice that once you press function... There will be three icons, a card with an arrow on it, a trash can, and a TV. What one do I press? The TV. You press the TV, and the first thing that should come up is disk operations. It should say on the top. And then you should see several, you should see a lot of options, like uh, disk info, or disk project, disk title, you know, kind of giving all the, got all the stuff. That, that's about the disk. And then there are three things that are blocked out. There's finalize, unfinalize, and delete all movies. Well, the thing you need to do is finalize. But wait, that's blocked out. How are you going to do that? All you need to do is get your charger, plug it in, and then, oh, like magic, the finalize button is there and it's available for pressing. So once you finalize that, you click finalize and it will give you all this all this nice stuff saying, do you really want to do this? Do you really want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? Are you positive you want to do this? And then after you've done all that, you should have to wait like six minutes depending on how much files you have on your disk. And then that is when we have to get technical and go to the computer. Hey everybody, now that we're at the computer, I don't know if you guys can see me still, but whatever. Um, we get the camcorder, and this is what you'll need next. You'll need the three, the three objects. The disc, the camcorder, and then your USB adapter. Now simply, you plug it in to any, any slot that looks like it, like a, like a rectangular kind of, and then you open your camcorder, and I'm just going to shut it off right now, and see the second one down, plug it in, it fits. Now, I don't know if you guys can see me. I really don't know, I'm just going to push this over. Whatever. Whatever, but anyway. So now, now that it's plugged in, this is all we have to do. You have to go through this install process for this. This is not an easy thing to do. 
they may be. But um, you will, guys, you will need to pay heavy attention uh, to what everything that disc tells you to do. And once that is done, simply do this. Alright, this is what we do now. All we do is, after installation, you should have installed Guide Menu. If you did not, go back and install it. And this is what you do. You click the install, and then you will notice these uh, dump these these uh, four tabs. And the only one that's there is authorizing. But once you plug in your uh, camcorder, and once you turn it on to the play, the little green light, then this will become available. And you click that, and then simply it'll simply ask you where do you want your files to be stored, and that kind of junk and after that you do whatever the heck you want with the with the video with your video files hope you guys enjoyed the um or I hope you guys learned something from this and um I'm just doing this for all you guys that that need help out there it took me some time to figure this out but figured it out so guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tell me if you guys want to see more of these walkthroughs and what you want to see walkthroughs on thanks guys